Uh, thank you. Everyone in the chamber, uh, before we see the final budget, which is usually rolled out in the wee hours of the morning, out of tradition or lack of effective organizational skill, and frankly, neither one serves any of us or our constituents well, can we please remember our constituents are tapped out. If you've seen an MMA fight, they've, they've hit their arm three times, they are tapped out, they've had it, and they're leaving our state. Many people in this chamber and the governor adamantly deny this is happening, but even Washingtonians get it. They've taken away a congressional seat due to out-migration. Those who stay in Illinois, their pockets are empty and more people are on the edge financially. How do we know this? Personal debt is at an all-time high. As I hear from my constituents, and I'm sure many of you do, complaining about their property taxes, income taxes, service taxes and fees, for the record, IDR, now collects over 80 individual line item taxes. Why does that not bother anyone in this chamber? I can't stop thinking about, and uh, Cam Buckner, I saw him at the, uh, I don't know, I can't see him right now, and I'm, but Cam is a music devotee as I am to soul music. Billy Preston, one of the great musicians of the time, had a song, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. There are hundreds of millions of dollars that are being spent in revenue enhancements by the governor. Um, I call this gov-splaining, which is like mansplaining, but in this case, it's a lot more expensive for individuals, man, woman, child, and business. Governor, if you want to be a hero, restore LGDF to 10% while removing the grocery tax. Stop the prevarications regarding LGDF. The state is shorting our towns by hundreds of millions of dollars. The governor's office doing more gov-splaining said to all of us 15 years ago, the state's giving 100% more. Well, that's a partial truth. 10 years ago, there was 10 billion in revenue and they gave each one of our towns in aggregate a billion dollars. Today, it's 33.4 billion and we're not giving anyone anywhere near 3.3 billion. What's this do to our property tax? It raises it, which isn't good for Illinois. So governor, don't be a zero put forth a zero-sum budget so we can have accountability, transparency for once in this state. Let's pass House Joint Resolution 44. Enough of living beyond our means, enough shifting the goal lines, cut the tax hike proposals, start eliminating wasteful spending for once in this chamber. Instead of nothing, let's leave something in the pockets of our constituents. When we consider and construct this budget, this final year budget, our final act in the chamber, Let's make sure that we think of our constituents first. And for God's sake, let's present this budget during the day, not at 2 a.m., where the bright light of day is the best disinfectant for an awful budget. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker.